Most mobile devices include a built-in GPS antenna as well as additional subsystems to determine your location. Access this location information, all you need is a location sensor component. Go to the on location changed event handler. And in here, we're past a two parameters that are location coordinates. So if you look at the new locations, latitude and longitude, you're able to determine the device's current location. In here, we're taking that latitude and longitude and displaying it to the user and then attaching it to a URL for a Google Maps. This will display a map to the user showing their current location. You can also use this with uh, geocoding information or to track the user and find nearby attractions for them. One note is that right now we're just using a web browser to display this map to the user. But new in XE8 is the new map component the T map view. And this is a much better way to display an interactive map to users. So take a look at that. This example is not using that just for simplicity's sake. Let's go and take a look at this in action. Here it is on the iPad mini. When I tap the switch up here, it activates the location sensor and we see we have our latitude and longitude and it is dropped a pin on the map right here at Embarcadero's location in Scotts Valley. Here it is on Android under Lollipop. Again, we'll activate the location sensor, and this time I'll put down the satellite view. And we can zoom in and see the offices here in Scotts Valley. This has been a brief overview of adding location support to your mobile application development.